Yeah, we're recording. Okay. So now that everybody is comfortable with their characters, uh, what we're going to do is basically improvise the story and, and get to know each other's characters through the story. And everyone would start with like a few lines. Like my character is Fuad. I'm going to start. What's what's your character's name? Mario. Mario. Okay. So it, w it would be like this. Um, so Fuad just... Uh, Fad just got off the train and and he tripped and then you would you would be next and you'd be like Mario saw that from a distance but blah 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 and we need to have all the characters interacting with each other and each person would start with with uh, each person would say something about their character and then and get into the story the... yeah okay so we're just gonna yeah Tella yeah. 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 do you I still have it that's okay okay you you what was the what was the beginning okay so uh. Fuad is on. So Fuad is on a train and he's looking out of the window and he's really sort of phasing out of all his surroundings. Um, Mario was in Navy and he was basically birth and he saw. <laughs> he saw. Oh, he saw. I can't pronounce her name because it's in a different language. And she. Give her a Okay, we can call her Alice. Okay, he saw Alice. He saw Alice. Alice is two hundred. Is a one kilometer tall. <laughs> so he was. Wow, good. that's actually so. awesome. <laughs> Alice got on the train with Granny Anarchy. He's <laughs> <laughs> ninety years old and loves to punk rock. <laughs> and. Um, and she's thinking, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Next to Granny Anarchy was sitting Anderson, smoking cigarettes, though he wasn't supposed to be on the train. <laughs> I can't blame him. <laughs> and we also have Ashley White on the train, who's a black woman, <laughs> um, very Christian, and she is on her way to Sunday Mass. With a punk rocker. <laughs> With a punk rocker. And one <laughs> Okay, so, so Fa'ad notices, uh, what's your character's name? Anderson. So Fa'ad notices Anderson and and he decides to go up to him and ask for a cigarette. Uh, Mario saw those human beings smoking fingers and he thought that they were really stupid. Um, Alice didn't mind, but she talked about them behind their backs with her imaginary friend. <laughs> um, the imaginary friend was poking at Granny Anarchy, who's very superstitious. <laughs> Anderson thought this was all very funny as he held another cigarette. And Ashley was uh, very angry, actually, he was not happy at all. Because she's anti-smoking, and so this is actually this is so illegal what's happening. <laughs> so Fuad, who has had a couple of drinks before that, sees that Ms. Anderson is the only semi-normal person on the train, or the only person he can see that he can actually have a conversation. Wait, with. So me he, too. Why? What's wrong with the? With my because they shared a moment. They shared the cigarette. Oh right. So uh, so he leans into Anderson, and he's like. Do you know any of these people? So Anderson, uh... uh Go on. Uh, the those human beings seem to think that Mario is uh, invisible, but he, he's seeing them all and he's wondering what the hell are they doing, because he can't hear them and he's also mute. Okay, um, Since Alice was feeling shunned by everyone around her, she decided to practice her spelling. Practice her spelling. Uh, <laughs> Yo, you're awesome, by the way. <laughs> Granny Anarchy, who used to be a school teacher, was um, helping uh, Alice in practicing her spelling. <laughs> Alice. Alice. <laughs> Not Alice. <laughs> uh, Anderson thought because it was going to be a long train ride, he better um, take the opportunity to try to get to meet his fellow passenger. Um, Ashley is actually listening to music, and specifically, um, she's a hip-hop and R&B fan. 
and um, she is. This is very difficult for me, actually. You know. It's okay. Me too. Me too. That, because like I never use fictitious characters. Anyways, uh, and she is. Um, she has a big dream to. Like she wants to be an MC. She wants to be a female MC. I'm warming up to her. Yeah, and so she's good. about to like she she, she, so she's about to like stand up in the middle of the train and just like start practicing on people, you know? Yeah. With a beat and she puts like <laughs> and she uses somebody. <laughs> Granny Anarchy is a beatboxer, you know? Granny and, Anarchy. And then, and then and then they use a hat, you know, to like collect donations so that they can shoot a video. You know, so it's not going to church. <laughs> So Fuad uh, sort of gets put off by Anderson getting up and, and leaving him there, and he's really confused. And he tries to follow Anderson, but he trips on Alice's foot. <laughs> um, uh, Alice's uh, imaginary friend is actually Mario, the alien, but she's the only one who can see him because she's a child and he likes children. You, really you, 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 you seem like you're reading off of the oh. paper, but you aren't. It's really interesting. Okay. Right, well, actually, you see, um, Alice believes that she herself is an alien, and she's self declared, and uh, she's from Jupiter. So, you know, I forgot like Jupiter. Fuad tripped on her foot. <laughs> yeah, I know. Fuad tripped, tripped on her foot, but she didn't notice because she was really focusing on her spelling. And it was just, you know, because she's in the uh, she's in, uh, she's in second grade. And she's a kilometer long. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's why she believes she's being just. <laughs> Granny <laughs> Anarchy's thinking, what the hell? <laughs> she spaces out and she's craving for a burger. Um, Anderson wonders who. What's her name? Alice. Alice <laughs> keeps talking to with this. She's a little freaked out by her. I think he's a little freaked out by it. the ABCs talking to someone who he can't see. So he decides to ask her what's going on, what's her deal. I mean, I don't know, last time I checked, Ashley White is still rapping. <laughs> it isn't working out for her. And people obviously aren't paying any attention. <laughs> so, yeah, her dream has been crushed. <laughs> okay, so, Bad is just, at this point, he's just fed up with the entire train of, of strategies. I'm but, sick on fat point. <laughs> he's fed up with the whole thing, and the moment the train stops, he just gets off. You know, he doesn't even care about reaching his destination. But accidentally, he ends up taking uh, Granny Anarchy's purse with him. It's just. <laughs> <laughs> can suddenly hear everything and he he can he's actually paying attention to Ashley's weird yes and Okay, so Alice is sad because even Mario is paying attention to her. He's listening to this Ashley rap of the train. And suddenly she gets very tired and falls asleep. Granny Anarchy says, Love your rap, excuse me, I'm off the train. Goes chasing for Ag. Calls, calls her boyfriend the milkman, says, round up the milkman, I need this guy, I want my purse back, she's off the train. <laughs> um, meanwhile, Addison is um, very moved uh, and curious about the uh, music of Ashley and would like to know <laughs> where she gets the inspiration for her voice. Ashley gets a, 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 a very important phone call from her boyfriend. Who it, actually, she calls the boyfriend because she notices an ex of his on the train who's actually texting him. Oh, no. Oh, and she knows what's going on behind the scenes. And, you know, it's like a very dramatic phone call. And um, that's it. Fuad is now, after he leaves the train thinking the bizarre things have ended, he realizes that he's being chased by a bunch of milkmen. 
and they're all screaming, give back the purse, okay. and, and his first reaction is, is completely freaking out, not knowing what to do, because he's already sort of, he ha he's had a few drinks before and he's really like disoriented right now, so he actually grabs onto the purse thinking that it's important and runs away to save it from the milkman. Omar looks at the scene in front of the train and he grabs a bunch of peacemakers from his purse and throws them at Vlad. Okay. Um, yeah, Alice hears all of the, uh, the, the mayhem going outside <laughs> and then she yells to the conductor to stop the train and she has to really dunk herself down <laughs> to get to the And then she gets up and she notices that poor Vlad is running away and you know, Mario was telling her such good things about Vlad. So she decides to step up. <laughs> and she what? <laughs> she squished <laughs> Granny's boyfriend. <laughs> oh my god, that's really mean. <laughs> I love her. <that. laughs> <All right>. Sorry. <laughs> granny anarchy. <laughs> Being a selfish granny that she's oh more concerned about her purse. <laughs> she catches for and says, come to terms with your homosexuality. <laughs> <laughs> Carl watches. No, um, Anderson watches all this from the, the only scene window gun. window of the train, and he finds it all hilarious because he just loves the mayhem of these characters that he's come to meet. Um, uh, Ashley starts, um, you know. Yeah, that and the, and then and then also wait, what's happening with her? Actually, has a broken heart right now. So I'm looking out for her, and um, she is she gets down on her knees and she starts praying. Oh, well, that will get her boyfriend back. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yes, that's that's her. Yeah. So Fuad is now face to face with Granny Anarchy and he's really freaking out and he decides like he sees Alice cushioning the milkman so he thinks Alice is my only savior and as he locks eyes with her trying to communicate, his stomach just kind of...